Hey everybody, the Banga is back. Welcome to part 5 of Let's Play for the Frog the Bell Tolls. Okay, I thought it was a little bit farther to get to Spring Hill, and it turns out it actually wasn't. So, <laughs> we got ourselves some gold to bring. Wait here like a good boy. Jinbi! Oh, my friend. You have found gold? Yes, and I brought it here with this huge critter. Oh, fantastic! Where is it? It's just outside. Sugoi! I like it! I'll take it. Really? Then please pay to repair the bell. Okay, okay. That's easy. I'll take responsibility for fixing bell. I'll leave you to it. Just a moment, please. What happened to this mammoth? It's a long story. Can I please make use of it? Yes, but take this controller. Or it might go berserk. Alright, well I don't need this anymore. Thank you, friend. Please follow me. The villagers wish to thank you, too. Really? Ha <laughs> I'm embarrassed. Great job, Prince Bonga! You really found the gold? Cha-ching! Wow! You're amazing, Prince Bonga! Mwah. We'll hear the chimes of the spring bell again soon. Now that it's warmer, frogs can survive on the glacier! My lost friend has returned safely. It's me, the frog from the Elder's Hut. Thanks to you, I was able to return home. Bell repairs should begin soon. Richard and his men will be able to turn back. But where is he? Prince Bonga. Just in time. I'm Dr. Nitz's assistant. He's asked me to deliver this. The Zed Flute? This flute will summon the power suit when we're finished with it. Great. Give my regards to the doctor. Also, this is just a rumor, but... We heard the Krokians have begun a massive frog hunt. A frog hunt? Oh no. Richard and his men are in danger! Bonga went straight to Alamode. Move it, Froggy! Lord Delarin will awaken in spring. You runs will be his tasty treat. Wahaha! <laughs> Out of the way! They've taken all the frogs! Is Richard among them? Wait! Where's my daughter? Where's my Madeline? How should I know? Ugh! Steady, sir. The Krokians took my daughter to the palace. Please save her. Your daughter? Hang in there! They... Got everybody. Was even Richard captured? I was separated from the others. Only I escaped. Please, take this. I risked my life for it. The club key? Rescue the others. So be it. I'll free them all. I should probably top up my health first. There we go. Also, I think I want to check that, uh, vineyard a while back. So I might be able to get some extra... extra stuff for it. I wonder if that special wine is ready. So that means I can finally go to the dock. Just use the canoe. So I believe I need to go left for it? Because if that's true, then I can get, like, two different kinds of wine. I'll be much more survivable if I get into too many fights. 
It should be around here, I think, if you go south. Like, is it this way? Yes! I'm developing a new type of wine. My new wine is finished! I call it Prime Nouveau. Drink up, and you'll recover six hearts. Nowadays, you can buy Prime Nouveau in any shop. Oh. So I had to see you first before the other wine could be made available. Okay. Oh, why is he locked in a shop in the town now? That's weird. Oh well. At least I can go back to Ala Mode and get the wine there. At least you can get it in just about any shop? Let's see. Can I get it in that shop? And will they still sell the regular wine? Because it seems like you can't have two bottles of the same kind of wine. Let's see if that's what it is. I guess, yeah, they only took the frogs. Oh yeah, now it's just this kind of wine now. Prime Nouveau is 25. That's good enough, I suppose. So at least those will give me six hearts instead of what? Was it three with the old wine? I think our prep is done, so let's go to the palace. Also, let's take a look at my stats. Power of 15, speed of 4, armor of 4, jump of 4. That seems pretty solid. And I think I still need one more heart. And then I should have... Max? Pack of pickaxes? Climb the ladder, please. Thank you. Damn! They're giving me a lot of treasure. Like, egg. Fruit. Egg. Fruit. This guy... Says I need a spade key. Lord Delarin's room. Okay, so this is where I go for the last part of the game. Well, good thing I got those pickaxes, right? There. Oh, and I gotta break down some more. Don't think I'll need more than this. There we go. That's pretty easy to deal with. Beautiful. Hey. Thanks for the egg, but I would have liked a heart. What is this? I guess you just hang on to this? Yes, okay. And you have to hit down to let go. Ooh, this looks kind of spicy. Okay, so as long as I just drop from the middle, I can't get skewered. Oh, oh god. Oh no! I can't believe that was too far down. I thought I was still gonna hang on. Wow. That was stupid. All right, let's just go back and try it again. All right, let's try this again with less fail this time. Okay, I'm just gonna play it safe. 
Whoa, whoa, okay. You know what? I'm not gonna need that heart. Am I willing to risk my neck just for one heart? Famous last words. Please don't knock me down. Thank you. It just pushed me into a wall. Doesn't matter. Okay, I gotta find the right timing to get over there. That almost was not it. And somehow it was. Alright, so... Should I be the snake, or should I take the middle path? Let me see what's over here. Oh, this is just healing. There, I actually did not waste it. What the hell? There's just ghosts popping out of the mirror! Okay, so it seems they just go around the mirror and don't do much else. And now he's gone. Coward. He knew what was coming. I was ready to give the hands. So I guess as soon as I get close, he's just gonna disappear. Or, I can just get him now, and then it eliminates the ghosts from the mirrors. But that's all it does. Hmm. I don't need to do that. At least I don't think I do. What the hell?! <laughs> How would you stop that? I <laughs> like how he just drops the whole thing, chain and all. So I guess if you're smart enough, you can just skip the whole fight. But where's the fun in that? Okay. Get ourselves back to full health. Well, this area seems to have a lot less BS than other places. Oh, there's just a porcupine ignoring you. Alright. And we need to hop. It seems there's clouds. I wonder if I gotta go outside. Go over there. No sense to go that way. Whoa! Ghost tried to die bomb on me. What the hell? They got zip lines now? Am I supposed to be a frog? I think I might need to be a frog for this. It seems I gotta reach a zip line. But how do I get there? Does it want me to do like the high jump while I'm over there? Oh, wait a minute. I'm supposed to go up here. And there's a zip line over that way. Whee! That's a slow moving zip line. But it leads to some treasure. Which is another joy fruit. How many joy fruit do I have? I might already be at the maximum amount. So 
So I don't think I can even get any more. Ooh, I almost became a frag. What's over this way? There's that goon. Let me check what's up here first. Damn, I'm really high up in this castle. Or rather, palace. Is this the other treasure chest I saw? I think so. Hey! Lifestone! Now, I wonder if this is Max Hearts. Because who knows, this game might be ridiculous enough that you could only beat the game with Max Health. Let's hope that's not the case. I just hope that I can actually have a little bit of wiggle room. Oh, there's another club door over there. That looks extremely dangerous. So I'm better off just going this way first. Oh, I can go up in the clouds if I want to. Should I do that? I mean, it wouldn't hurt. I can walk on the clouds. I just don't think I can grab them. Oh, no, that's not gonna work. Maybe I have to be a frog just to even get up here. Yeah, I'm starting to think so. This is too tall for me. Or I guess I can just kill the spiders. Catch the money if I'm greedy enough. Good to know it doesn't just, like, change where I'm jumping. What else if I go down here? Hmm. Okay. I trust this is where I need to go? In this big-ass room? Ow. Rude. Well, at least the clocks have a very specific pattern. So I can easily dodge the uh, pendulums. Oh, this crap again, huh? Get away. You're not welcome. Ah! They just spawned it right on top of me. That's a little mean. Actually, I take that back. That's a lot mean. Hold on, let me duck over here. Oh no! Fudge! I had to duck just to get under there. But when I hold down, I also go through the rope. So I guess you can't really do it that way. Cheeky game. Um... Do I want to be grabbed? I guess I do. Let's just do it like this. Yeah, I think you have to dodge the claw. Mm, but that's gonna be hard to do when it's already coming for me. I guess when it's close enough, it can't necessarily grab you? No! Fudge! Oh my god. Well, at least there's full health here. 
But now I have to do all this again. Like, maybe when it's going up, it can't grab me. Or maybe this game be mean enough to say, it's going up, even though its arms are open, it still counts as grabbing you. Do you think the game would be that psychotic? Somehow I think it would. I keep thinking those spikes are gonna get me. Yeah, well, why don't I just try to jump over him? Because you can clearly do that. Oh, the frog can grab the zipline, too. Godspeed, little dude. I think where I need to go is over here in this room. But... What if I tried to approach it from above? Giving me a glimpse as though, like, I got way more to deal with. Or, I can just try to jump to heaven. Is it worth it, though? Hmm, no. I was better off just going inside. How is this gonna work? Oh, I, I know how. I think I have to work my way through all this. Yeah, this'll work. Frog storage! So I have to go down there to probably rescue the frogs. But I wanna see what this is first. Ah, some Prime Nouveau! That is very nice and smooth on the tongue. Yeah, I'm gonna try to grab it facing this way. I don't wanna hit the spikes. Yeah, I could probably position my body this way and I'll dodge them better. I don't know if these spikes are insta kill or they just hurt you. No, don't get on that ledge. You don't need that one. I'm too scared to die now, because if I do die, guess what? I have to do all this again. Oh, that's going to be rough. Okay, I see what I got to do, and I don't like that it's what I got to do. Oh, but I'm gonna attempt it! Well, at least the pattern is easy to figure out. Doesn't mean I have to feel good about it. Richard! Are you in here? Did you come to rescue us? Sorry, but Prince Richard isn't here. What? He was separated from us during the frog hunt. Don't worry, I'm sure he's safe. Let's get out of here! I think not, Prince Bonga. I'm surrounded! Seize him! No! Dang! This... Arg... Wait! Ack! Oof! Ugh! How oh, numbered! No fair! Oh! You're awake! Are you okay? Who are you? 
The Krokians captured you when you fainted. Did you come here to rescue me? Hmm. Mandala! Mandala? Don't play dumb. Do us both a favor and drop the disguise. What do you mean? Hey! Ow, you've got a mean right hook. Sorry, but you accosted me all of a sudden. Not a witch after all. Forgive me. What's your name? Madeline. Right. I met your father. Oh, father. I want to see him again. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll escape, no sweat. Using one of my nifty items. Huh? Where's all my stuff? I bet the soldiers hid my stuff near here. But I can't do anything locked up like this. <laughs> Dora won't budge. At this rate, I'll be forced to marry Dalaran. But why you? You're not a princess. I have no clue. Well, whatever the reason, I can't let him do such a thing. We're getting out of here. Hello? Jam! It's you, isn't it? Oh, I don't have the frog slater on me. Robert, Robert, Robert. Can you understand what I'm saying? Please unlock this door. Robert. Just what I expected from the Master Thief. Thanks. Robert, 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 Robert. Hmm? Do I need anything else? Yes. Please free the frogs in the West Tower. There's not much time before Dalaran awakes. Robert, Robert. I'm counting on you, Jam. So once I get my items... Oh. Is that it? Nope, that's just the diary. I haven't even wrote this diary in a long time! You know what, I bet you if I died and then used the diary, I could just be back where I left off. Why did I not think to do that? That's only the diary. Where are the rest of my items? Wait, let me see. Oh, I don't even have my armor anymore. How did you escape your cell? Uh, it's a secret. Should I go this way? Hmm... That is an option, but what if I went left first? The exit. Oh, I don't want to exit without my stuff. Let's try going this way. Well, she can jump pretty well, too. Lucky me, I guess. So if anything, don't go after the one on the right. Go after him from behind. Oh, it's a mimic. Damn. I was so sure that was my stuff. How dare they just tease me like this? Okay, I'll have to deke around the ghosts, too. They're not making this part easy at all. By any means. Because I have to fight this one. If only they can just drop some hearts for me. That would be a godsend. Oh, no, 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 no. Go the other way. I guess I have to fight him, because his control is limited. Oh, 
Oh, for the love of... Stop throwing these damn mimics at me! You're filling me with so much false hope! I bet you this is a mimic too. And I fell for it anyway. I just wanted to believe. Ooh, I almost missed that ledge. Surely this can't also be a mimic. My items! Let's see. It seems something is missing. The one item that I need to get out of here... The very one item I need to get out of here is missing. A freaking course. Well, I guess there's only one way to go, and that's over here to the exit. At least now I can destroy pretty much anything. Except for maybe these black hooded guys. And I get all my health back. Get out of here, you. Oh, you're not gonna let me go, aren't ya? Get wrecked! The soldier was carrying an item. There's the warp door! I'm curious as to what else is over here. <laughs> Why do I need the warp door now? We're already near the exit. And it won't let me use it! I guess because I have, a, have somebody with me. Yeah, I think that's why. Oh, Madeline! I was so worried! Father! Now that your daughter is safe, I need a favor. By all means. Go to Spring Hill and ask them to ring the spring bell at once. I must turn everyone back before Dalaran wakes up. I'll set out immediately. Prince! Please be careful! Uh-oh. It's Prince Bonga! Give us the girl! If we don't present Lord Dalaran with a substitute princess, he'll kill us! What? You still haven't captured the princess? Get him, boys! It's too tough! Retreat! Huh, guess they were all talk. What's this? The spade key? This is the key to Dalaran's room. The time has come to confront him! Sir Jam Rescue, oh, he's a, he's a good thief after all. I expected no less. Okay, so now we're on the final push for the game? Is that what this is? He still haven't drank my wine, so there's that. Alright, let me go to the hospital, top myself off. I guess we can just make the last push. Um, I selected zero by accident. I mean, thank God there's an American healthcare. Oh, you paid for zero hearts? Okay, it's 10,000 nuts. Like, wow. That was just the referral. Okay, I don't know how much is left of the palace, but let's, uh, hop on in. Okay. This is the last spot of the game. Now that I have the spade key, I can enter his room. I hope it's really that simple. These guys make it simple. For all I know, we could have a lot more treacherous traps to worry about.
Alright, I'm gonna, like, type in the diary. It says 32. Is that my current power level? Whee! Okay, well, at least I skipped a lot out of the platforming. By going as to the right as much as I can. That's one way to get through that obstacle. And I can just go right to the zip line. Little hops. There we go. We're making some progress. There's a diamond door over here. Yeah, I think you're better off just going indoors, because staying out the whole time doesn't really lead anywhere. At least that's what I'm noticing. There may not be much treasure to get anymore. Like, if this is the last part... Oh, there was another diamond door. And that just leads nowhere. Let me guess, Mimic? No, a Power Stone! Wait, what's my power at? 16! I don't think I could go any higher than that. I mean, if I can, I'm not gonna complain, but... I feel like 16 is an awful lot. Just how strong is the Laren then? If they're making it seem like 16 is not completely gonna cut it. Oh. Hmm. Just go. Dodge the fireballs. Oh, oh, oh. Zoom! This gotta be Delaren's room. I just know it. I mean, look how ornate it is. So I guess in the meantime, just dodge a whole bunch of fireballs. <laughs> you just get yeeted off screen. Well, at least these don't shoot it, yeah? They're a bit too close to the ladder. I thought there would be at least one more episode I gotta do with this game before the end. Nope, this could be the last one. Come on, you don't get death from above. Alright, what we got? Don't disturb the king's room until spring. Okay, let's write in the diary. Keep playing. I'll use both ladders. Delarin? That's one loud snore. That tiny snake can't be him. Who dares interrupt my slumber? Watch your mouth when you address a prince! Well, what's the meaning of this? I said, watch your mouth, Sneaky! Oh, stop it! It's kind of a shame that the final boss is just a tiny snake. What should I do? Hit. Hey, quit that! I guess not every final boss is super strong. Now what should I do? Slice. Yeah! Stop! I feel like a bully. What should I do? Slay. Delarin! Prepare yourself for my strike of justice! Clang! Huh? That sword... 
has no real power. It is you who shall die here! Whoa! This won't be easy after all! Okay, I can't use any of my items. I have to go right in. Fool! Think you're gonna defeat me? Oh. I guess I don't have a choice in the matter. He's way too strong! The snake killer isn't working! What should I do? The flute? Guess I should use the flute. Woohoo! Thank you for your patience! Doctor! Sorry for the wait! This is my new power suit! The Igari Z! Never mind the name, just hurry up and use it! Leave it to me! Rocket Punch! Here I come! Megaton Kick! I guess it's finally time! Galactica Attack! All he had to do was move. Oh! Dr. Nit! I screwed up. Fortunately, the life restoring unit is intact. Okay, do your healing dance. Red Snake, come on! My power is restored! And Delaren's lost control of his body. Now's my chance! I'll finish him! Ta-da! Uh-oh! The dance restored Delaren's power, too! Hey, Dr. Nit, that's enough! I, I can't stop this thing! This could go on forever! Ha-ha-ha! <laughs> it is I, Prince Richard! Stand aside. Bonga! Glad I'm in time to save you! Richard! But... The bell hasn't rung yet! Even as frogs, our fighting skills are superior to yours. Assemble! Charge! Don't! Gulp. You're just feeding the snake. What the hell, Richard? Oh, he's charging into us. We're the only two left! Enough! I'll handle it from here! No! You'll die in vain as a frog! This is my fight! I must avenge my men! Don't worry about me! Just run! The spring bell! Hurrah! I'm human again! What's going on? My stomach! Attack! Those frogs I ate are going crazy! How dare you! Ack! Impudent worms! Die! Whoa! Richard! Richard! Stand up! Some kind of barrier! Oh... Looks like this is the end for us. Forgive me for being so useless. 
No, I'm the useless one. I applaud you for making it this far. However, this ends now. Yeah! A sword came out of nowhere and hit Delaren right in the eyes. I, I can't see. Who did this? Looks like I'm just in time. Jinbi! What are you doing here? Irrelevant. I've disabled the barrier. The snake killer! Now! Whoa! The snake killer is shimmering like fire! Go get him, Bonga! Prince Bonga brandished the snake killer. Press A to attack. Oops. Yeah! So you had to get him, like, in the gap of the barrier. And I gotta do this five more times. I don't know if the barrier gets any faster. When it's closer to death. Yeah, it's going a bit faster. So you had to account for that. Barely noticed it, but I think we won. <laughs> I'm finished. Bonga, drop him. Hurry. On guard. Going to make Tiramisu my queen. Become ruler of this kingdom. And create an M. Pyre. Hey, great one in hell. <laughs> you did it, Prince Bonga. Well done, Prince Bonga. Please come this way. Jinbi, where are you going? Mandela. <laughs> Just what I expected. Can it? You put us through a lot of trouble! <laughs> you still haven't figured it out? Oh no! Was that you? It is I, Princess Tiramisu de Milfui. Forgive me! How are the custard soldiers? They look all right. Polnareff, please come forward. Yes, princess. What? I am Polnareff, captain of the guard. So Jinbi was actually Polnareff the vulture? Exactly. All this was the captain's plan. He saved me during the invasion, and I transformed us both using my holy power. I changed you into frogs so you'd be safe. But I didn't realize the frog hunts would come so quickly. But why did you only turn me back? I needed someone to repair the bell and find the snake killer. I became Jinbi to help you along. Banga! Polnareff told me everything. Can you forgive me? Richard. I'm sorry for putting our lives in danger. I am deeply grateful. I'd also like to thank you. I have something to ask. You have vanquished evil and returned peace to the kingdom. But new foes will surely attack us. We need a brave man to become king and protect us. Polnareff, what are you asking? Princess, you know exactly what I'm asking. Prince Bonga, do you follow my meaning? 
I see. Truthfully, I also have harbored the idea of marrying Princess Tiramisu. But which of us is fit to be her husband? I challenge you to a duel! Richard! Prince Bonga, if you are a man, you will fight for your beloved princess! Wait! After defeating Dalaran, things soon took an unexpected turn. Spectators crowd into the arena. The duel is about to begin. I, Polnareff, shall serve as referee. Whoever falls first loses! Prince, to arms! Hm, I'm destined to win. What do you mean? I'm not the same prince as the last time we fought. How'd you like that? Darn! Not bad. Right back at you. Richard! Bring it on! His sword flew into the air. Who shall be victorious? He's fallen to his knees? Is this the end for Prince Bonga? Enough! That was an excellent duel. However... Sir Polnareff, say no more. I, Richard, concede defeat. Prince Bonga, your kindness prevented you from striking me down. As usual, your warm heart interrupted your fighting rhythm. You're a good man, so consider this. A king sometimes must disregard valor if it means protecting his people. Ugh, fear not for me. Just but a stretch. Richard. Don't look at me like that. Well, my duty here is finished. Let us withdraw, men. What style? He's certainly our prince. What a manly thing to do. We'll follow you anywhere. What's up the music? Prince Richard, are you crying? Wait! Wait! Richard, you'll always be an irreplaceable friend. I feel the same, Prince Bonga. I wish you well. Princess, I bid thee farewell. Someone just got his one finger on the keys. Uh... Okay. And that's it! That's, uh, for the Frog the Bell Tolls for the Nintendo Game Boy. So what did you guys think about the game overall? I thought it was actually really good. There were definitely some hard parts. And I'm wondering, like, is this just another case of when I figured out a game mechanic right at the very end? Like, when it came to Mr. Nuts? Where I didn't even know you could dash until, like, the last level? Because I'm starting to think that if I just use the diary, I could just continue from the same part of the palace. Rather than just have to redo everything if I die. Because if that's true, keep in mind that all this is recorded before the first part even went up. So if people were telling me in the comments, then, well, I would not have been able to react to it. Until now. But I will say, for a Game Boy game, it's pretty high rent with its story. I mean, there were some humor spots here and there. But it was actually, like, a very fair game. It's too bad we didn't get this in North America. So would I recommend this as a, you know, like, if you're into, like, Game Boy games that have not been released in North America? This is definitely up there, in my opinion. So as for my next Let's Play, we'll just randomize that one as well. But I think that'll be fun to do. So this is the Bonga signing off saying goodbye, Godspeed, and stay tuned for my next Let's Play. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I shall see.
See you next time! Let's enjoy the rest of the credits while we still have them. Sir Polnareff, I have a question. Tiramisu was in disguise as Mandela, so she's the opposite of her in every way, right? Haha, <laughs> Prince Bonga. What you're thinking of will be the same. No matter what form she's in. The end. See you again!